one diet's better than this or this diet's better than this. I basically I basically can can guide you a little bit and give you some advice on how to figure out what you should and shouldn't be eating. You know, um I used to hate the fact that I I didn't eat sugar. I felt that I was sick. I felt that I was irregular, abnormal. Um but I'm not. Finding out that I was dead a diabetic all those years ago was a reality check and was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because I stopped living like a rock star. Athlete, living like a rock star, you know, I was out of control. You know, I didn't I didn't do drugs, things like that, but I was out of control. I didn't eat right, you know, I was having beers and whatnot. I don't can I don't, I'm not against anybody who does anything. I don't I, I chew tobacco. I mean, he saw that what I just did with the cup there. That's that's my only vice, man. Uh, and we're working on getting rid of that. Uh, it's been a lot of years, and I'm totally healthy. I don't have any cavities. Don't have any uh, you know mouth cancer, nothing like that. Uh, I try to stay as clean as I can. Use Listerine, whatnot. But at a certain point in time, I have to quit that. That's one thing I'm guilty of. Um, but as far as diet and, and exercise and staying healthy as a diabetic or becoming healthy, even though you aren't a diabetic, you don't want to wind up a diabetic. Take my word for it. Because the future is not, uh, <laughs> future is not bright. Um, your condition will never get better. It will only get worse. And the reason I know that is because I've seen a lot of diabetics and their situation has never gotten better. Even though you're totally healthy. You're doing everything you need to do. You're running all your numbers. Uh, you're religious about it. You're religious about your diet. Your body changes. And the disease will always progress. So to stay as healthy as you can buys you that time to spend with your family and enjoy the years once you're home and with them. So I know this was a serious video. I've done quite a few serious videos. Um, I promise the good time gang is going to be stirring up trouble everywhere we go. We're going to have a good time. Uh, I'm going to bring you a lot of fun stuff. I know I keep saying that. Just hang in there with us. Uh, once the tours start, it's going to happen. Nothing I can do about it right now. I can talk about it till I'm blue in the face. You need to see it. You need to see what we do. You need to see the fun we have and give you some insights on how we do things. So, um, hit me up, watch the video, share this video with people. Um, don't ever feel that you're alone. People do care about their fellow man and their fellow woman. And we are willing to help. We're all truck drivers, regardless of what side of the industry we're in. We're all part of a brotherhood. Doesn't matter the color of our skin. We're all part of a brotherhood. And for me traveling across the country... Skin color don't mean much. There's always a few bad apples everywhere. But you know what? I see us coming together more and more every day. Um, I think it has a lot to do with what's going on in, in the world right now. But um, I, see, I see the brotherhood coming back together and getting stronger. Now, that's not always the case. But stay positive. Stay healthy and never be afraid to ask questions about your health. No question is ever stupid when it comes to your health. No question is ever stupid, period. If you don't know something, you don't know. Once you ask the question and you get your answer, then you know. What you choose to do after that is up to you. So, this Big Rob, smallest guy in the room, biggest mouth, and this is Hammer Down Productions. And we are the Good Time Gang. We're looking forward to bringing some great stuff to you guys soon. Hang in there with us. Uh, we promise it's going to be a fun ride. Take care.